All right, guys, so I got a binder full of Hall of Fame pitchers here. And we're going to start off with Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox. What up, 2017 National, Aaron Davis, Mike O, JMVP. Anyways, moving right along. Some more Greg Maddox cards. <laughs> guys, I am so bored I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just bored, man. I just, I, I need to start walking. The last couple of days I haven't walked because of weather here where I live. It's just been like cold and windy and cloudy. I just don't feel like getting out of bed. Anyways, I'm just like not motivated to do much. So I got to start doing more. Here's that cool Topps laser card. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That's a thing of beauty. That's not even an expensive card or anything. It's just just a super cool card. Pretty much everything in here is not really worth anything, but it's just fun and cool to collect. That's why I do it, guys. I collect because it's fun. I don't care that these cards aren't worth anything. They're fun. They're cool. So more Greg Maddox action. This guy pitched for... Ever, it seems like and he was the he mastered the art of pitching I wonder how Greg Maddox would do nowadays that the umpires are kind of being graded with the strike zone because I think back in the day the umpires gave him a lot of wiggle room he usually had the advantage now we are with Tom Glavin or Tom Glavin, the old ABC uniform. I see a lot of cards from like 98 on the Braves. They must have had like a throwback day where they were wearing that uniform. If any of you Braves fans knows what the ABC stands for, comment, let me know. I have no idea what that stands for. But there's like Chipper Jones cards. I've seen Greg Maddox cards like that. Got John Smoltz. This guy was awesome. He had like over 100 wins and 100 saves. He was a closer for a while. He was a starter, then a closer, and then a starter again. He had a fantastic career. Randy Johnson. What, what else can you say about Randy Johnson? I think he got a lot of strikeouts early in his career because people were scared to death of his uh, how wild he was. He was effectively wild when he was younger, and then by the time he was... At the end of his career, he was, a, he was a master at location and all that. He played his final season with the Giants. I remember when he got his 300th win when he was pitching for the San Francisco Giants. I was actually sitting in the parking lot. My son was at baseball practice, and I was sitting in my car while my son was practicing, listening to the game to make sure that he would get the win. I think he pitched like... Five or six innings, so the relievers had to seal the win for him, and it got a little dicey at the end of the game. There's a play. I remember this play when Randy Johnson fielded a ball and threw the runner out at first. I mean, that guy was so awkward, but, man, he could pitch. I remember that play. I watched that game live. So cool. It's always fun when you see a baseball card of a play that you remember. Uh, I've even had like people comment, <clears throat> there are some pretty memorable plays that people remember being at the games. One where Griffey like caught this ball and the guy was like, yeah, I was in the background. You could see me on the highlight film. I forget who that was. I don't know if he's still making videos. If you are, comment and say that was me with the Griffey highlight. But anyways, we got Roy Halladay and Juan Marichal. Of course, like I always say, all the cards are different. See, different different rookie uh, reprint cards that Topps made. They, a lot of times, man, they will they will work a card to death. They'll, they'll make 20, 30 reprints of, the, of a rookie card sometimes. More Juan Marichal. Ah, that guy was so awesome. Look at that high leg kick. Classic. Burt Blylevin for the win. Recent inductee to the Hall of Fame. We've got Tom Seaver. 
And then early win with a little bit more of Tom Seaver on the toppage. So you guys know I like to uh, get full pages of cards. Try to kind of keep it somewhat organized. I'm more like, how do the, the cards look together? <laughs> I'm real picky about like how the binder pages look. That's actually a vintage card. That's a beat up vintage Tom Seaver card. Or Steve Carlton, excuse me. So I like to put my beat up vintage and some of my inserts, like that's a refractor there of uh, Mike Mussina. Oh yeah, Bob Gibson for the win. Man, that guy was so awesome. Again, you see a few vintage ones in there. Whoops, skip the page. More Bob Gibson. Guys, if you ever get a chance, read the back of his rookie card. Very interesting fact on the back of his rookie card. Here we go with uh, Warren Spahn and uh, Gaylord Perry. More Warren Spahn. And Sandy Koufax. Koufax, man, when he was in his prime, and it didn't last very long, but when he was in his prime, he, he sure was dominant. See, here's like another example. We got three of the 53 top satchel pages. That's a 53 tops look. But they're all different. Satch in the house. <clears throat> now, who do we have here? We got Whitey Ford. It's an old vintage one there. Ah, Jim Catfish Hunter. And then we got Don Sutton. Don Drysdale. We got a couple of Dons. Man. Fergie. Phil Negro on top. Fer Fergie Jenkins. Bob Feller. There is one Hall of Fame pitcher that I have a PC of that I don't have in this binder. Comment below if you could figure out which pitcher that is. It's just what happened. This binder got overloaded. I don't like to put too many pages in. My binders, people are always ask me, Nate, how many pages are, are a good amount for a binder? And I would say probably about 65 is the max I like to put in. So when I get too many pages, I start to make other, you know, like new new binders. Um, anyways, that's Christy Mathewson. Cy Young. Who else do we have here? Oh, uh, uh, yes, we got uh, Eddie Plank. In the house, along with Walter Johnson. Big train, Walter Johnson. Now we go on to the closers. So you got Mariano Rivera. Not too many Hall of Fame closers, like pure closers. There's a few. You got Mariano Rivera. Love that card right there. Such a cool card. That's a cool one, too. All, well, shit. I like all shit. I lo love all my cards. What am I talking about? Diamond Anniversary? Man, I got some cool Mariano Rivera cards. He was someone I didn't really collect until the uh, towards the end of his career. Then a few Lee Smiths. I'll end with the uh, Mariano Riveras. And then Eck. <clears throat> My favorite closer of all time, Dennis Eckersley. Especially within the Hall of Fame closers. These are all Hall of Fame closers. So we got Eck. Brian Wilson would probably be my second favorite closer of all time. Eckersleeve is my favorite. Man. Just some great memories of Eck. Yeah. I got to br meet him briefly earlier this year as well. And is that going to... Uh, do I have any more closers in here? Oh, yeah. I think I got one more after Eckersley. Man, what a great ball player he was. So we got Eck. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then we got Goose Gossage. And Hoyt Wilhelm. So, Goose Gossage, Goose Gossage, Hoyt Wilhelm, Raleigh Fingers, one of the first closers. Well, Hoyt Wilhelm, I guess, would be the, the first closer. And then Trevor Hoffman. So, those are my Hall of Fame pictures in this binder. Comment down below if you could guess who I'm missing. All right, guys.
Thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, until next time, happy collecting.